Hello, welcome back. Last time, after Happy Fun Cloud World, I got kicked down into the underworld by Barmethazel, the minion who was sent after me by Demon King. Uh, so yeah, last time was the first real... Uh, oh, hey, your eyes are different. You work the same, though. Huh. Can I attack those? Yes. Uh, oh, hey, you have more animation frames now. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, right, again, last time was sort of first... Um, first real stage in phase two of this game. I still kind of have the impression that this is not... It's not just the two phases of the game. I think there's something more that's still going to happen after this. Because I had the impression that there was not only an aesthetic change, but also a structural change at some point. I don't know if I just have the wrong impression or if I just haven't gotten to it yet. What do you have? Welcome to the lion's den. Oh, I didn't see any lions. No, I meant... Ah, never mind. <laughs> the heat. This heat is almost unbearable. Come on, I'm happy to avoid certain cliches, but to, uh, to think we wouldn't have lava to end your epic quest is pu pushing it. Wait, are you... one of the antagonists here? The way that's phrased kind of implies it. Okay, any stories? There once was a guy visited by a succubus. Far from being that kind of demon, she offered him a unique chance to visit Hell as a tourist. Very adventurous by nature, he jumped right into the portal. They arrived in a room where giant cauldrons boiled over bonfires. They contained people where little demons with pikes were sitting on the rim to push anyone who tried to escape back inside. Who's in that cauldron? The man asked his succubus tour guide. This one? That's where liars and cheaters end up, she explained. And this one over there, she continues, that's for people who hunt for sports. Aghast, the man noticed another cauldron, much bigger than the other ones and devoid of any demons sitting on its rim. Indeed, that one cauldron seemed to self-regulate. People were pulling back in anyone who tried to escape. And who's this cauldron for, he asked, curious as to who could be so stubborn in their ideology that they would rather hurt themselves than rethink their worldview. Oh, that cauldron, the succubus mused. That's for people who think the order doesn't apply anymore when another line opens up at the markets. Huh. The end. Okay, now you're just using the platform to vent. What is wrong with you? Are you that guy? Which guy? The guy who's fifth in line but rushes to be first when a new line opens up. Oh, right. Different timeline. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So still not enough for this. Getting there. Three-fourths of the way. All right. Uh, so I think I can get away with this. Does that just keep on going down? All right, so thin section there. I assume you rise again, I'm right. All right, so that was a preview. I'm gonna go down like this and hope that's not too optimistic. It was, well, I'm right here. All right, you want some time shards? Here, have some food. All right, so I should, like, not waste time here, probably. I didn't waste time. Good. Yeah, so these things are just everywhere. Maybe they mean nothing. <laughs> uh. Anyway, yeah, that's part of the structural change I was talking about. Well, I mean, it kind of makes it obvious that there's something going on. It could... I did think about this, though. It could be, a, like, a New Game Plus sort of thing, where I start over with upgrades and play the same levels. Because there were clearly marked things in previous levels, which, okay, I, I understand you. Uh, which were only accessible by power-ups that I didn't have at that point and could not have had. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. First time the duck is really useful, other than uh, slashing little enemies on the ground. Hey, you, stop that. Ooh. Uh, that's fine. I can ha hang on to these. Did I miss anything exciting down here? I guess a way to go back if you want that for some reason. Hey, 
That guy respawned. Oh, and I was clumsy enough to fall in that. Whoops. <laughs> uh, oh, has it been that many? Okay, well, I guess he's keeping count. So down here, those things I broke remain gone, but the little uh, platform that opened up is still closed. Why is this? Also, I'm still stand I still count as standing on it there because it was pushing me left all the way in there. Okay, maybe I should put in like some small amount of effort into what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, how far you go? That far, okay, plenty far. Which side spikes? Okay, bottom. So this uh, doesn't quite work. Guess I gotta either, like, hang on the left side of that, or do something else. That works fine. Seven eighty one, still not there yet. Still way more shops than are necessary. Two hits, okay. That's just like the bottom half of a jaw <laughs> without the top half. That's weird. Okay. Uh, nope. Did I fight those jumpy guys? I don't remember fighting those as I came through there. They like despawn or something, or was it just such a non-event that I didn't even notice? Yeah, I see you. I'm not worried. Now what I also see is a thing that might have the potential of opening, but it's not opening for me. That saw blade has a face. Okay, so this is what's going on here. Alright, I can handle this. That was no problem. Now you, oh, you have a place to throw through, huh? Well, isn't that fancy? How do I get to where you are? Like this? Okay. Go away, boulders. Uh, wow, that worked somehow. I thought I was totally going to take a hit from that guy, but I didn't. Oops, well, whatever. See, now here these guys are. Yeah, did I kill you before? I don't even remember. Uh, sure, that's fine. Okay, that was not a safe zone. I chose poorly. Still don't have enough. You got anything to say, though? I have to check every time, because you might. I don't have to check that every time, because I've never seen it change. Then again, it might someday. I mean, like, this would be... For... Okay, so... As a... One of the ways I thought of as measuring how far through this game I am is by how many power seals I have. Assuming I've found a reasonable number of them, I'm at, what is it, 10 now? Yeah, out of, what is it, 44? Five? Something like that. Huh, the scroll has its own section in the inventory. I wonder if anything can go there someday. There's still an item to get, or at least space for one more. I don't think... Yeah, no, we got the scroll, the climbing claws, the... Okay, so the shuriken, that is an upgrade purchasable... Oh, right, I can, I can point to them. Oh! It's a space for the description of what I'm pointing at. Oh, okay. I'm not sure I knew I could do this. Uh, okay. So right, rope dart, wingsuit, climbing claws, energy shuriken. This was optional. Uh, all right. I haven't seen water in a long time. I mean, I did see it since I bought this, like, once. Okay, cool. This is gonna rise, I can tell. It's that kind of screen. It's probably rising down there right now. I see cinders coming up. Yeah, I knew it. You can just tell sometimes. Uh, you, you are... I expected you to turn around instead of rolling down. Didn't know what you did. Oh boy. Um, well, this is happening. Okay, that happens. That's a skip. I'll take it. 
And you know what? You can give me one too. Well, you could have. You still could. Well, that's what I ended up doing instead. Whatever. I think, yeah, I couldn't have made that jump. Getting a little close to the... Oop, that didn't land. This might... Mm -hmm. That's fairly reminiscent of a certain screen in a certain Ninja Gaiden game. So that's there, I note. Power seal? No, just money. Well, you know, I'll take money, because I'm getting kind of close to where I need to be with that. Yeah, only a hundred left to go. Nice. Uh, oh, well, I... okay, that was... nothing about that went well. Okay, I'm back up here. I just want to slash that thing. I did it, but then I died. Alright, 915. <laughs> uh, where am I? I guess this is... Yeah, how far back is this? This isn't before the lava rising, no, this is the, the descent. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I could get those, but all it's gonna do is feed Corbel. Should I really encourage that kind of behavior? Well, I don't want him to stop saving me from death, so maybe. Let's see, there's another way I could attack those. You guys are really in the way, you know? Yes, that's that's their point. That's why they're there. I'm sure they know. Okay, screen clearly scrolls down. But also, there's nothing I can do to this right now, it seems. Alright. Uh, how high you go? That high. Okay. Swinging ball of spike, you tend to cause me problems. How low do you go? So there's a way there. Was there a way upward also? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and suspect... <laughs> Bold move, I know. Uh, that perhaps this is the way to a power seal. Still suspecting that. Okay, so this... That... That, that, okay. That opened, and there's the power seal. Got it. I saw something down at the bottom when the camera panned down before the extra... Yeah, there's just an empty space down there. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's, like, blocks that are not filled in below me. <laughs> Aww. Is this a... Uh... no, it's nothing. Alright. Power seal. Oh, okay, well that explains this passage. It's not some mysterious future structural change in the game. Yeah, you're gonna fall down on me. I did something about it, kind of. Then I respond to you. Okay, guess I'm gonna wait. Don't really want to. But it looks like that's what's happening. Alright, um, let's do this. It actually all worked. Nice. Uh, what would I like here? I can just kill you this way and really gain nothing for it other than the satisfaction of having killed you. <laughs> that's all I really wanted. Oops. No. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay, that's less fine. Okay, come on now. Didn't see anything on my way down. This looks like pre-boss corridor to me. Uh-huh, this looks very pre boss Corridor to me. 931, not there yet. Ah, uh, no, no. Other one. Looks like the Demon General is up next. Be careful out there, I hear he's pretty fast. Okay. Is Barmathazel the Demon General, or is he... is that like somebody under him? Because he's pretty high-ranking, he's the Demon King's right-hand man, but it looks like I'm fighting him now. Nowhere left to run, demon. Why would I run? You stepped right into my trap. We'll see about that. <laughs> we end this now, champion of the blue robes. Alright. Oh right, you're the spearman. Okay, so I'll fight you like the spearman. Uh, so I see those, sure. You don't seem to become invulnerable when you're swishing that thing around or anything. 
Okay, you do continue charging forward after this. Your eye shines. You lost an eye somehow. Also, your swords get stuck in the ground sometimes. I saw that. Okay, so I have to juggle now. Got it. Oops, I made a mistake. Well, and it may be costing me my life. Right, those walls are unclimbable, by the way. Uh, okay. Okay. This one's gonna take a few tries, I can tell. He's not... not nothing. Uh, so, strategies. Be a little bit less aggressive, but, you know, differently aggressive. Bye, Corbel. Can show some aggression. So when he shines, he's about to charge. Does he always shine before charging, is what I'm wondering. Oh, okay. I think the answer is yes, but it's a little hard to see him do it when, like, I'm right up on him like that. And, you know, listen for it if I'm just slashing him the whole time. Man, you let me do that for a long time. Okay, that's fine. Have some of those. Okay, this is new. I guess you just dodge it like that. Sure. Should I, like, attack it or something? No. Alright, well, I'm gonna die again. Yep. Well, got the fire blades again, but yeah, I had been too aggressive. Hmm. Two health this time. Let's see if it makes a difference. One thing to realize about this guy is it's strictly his body that hurts me. Like, I can stand right in that little whirlwind he's doing, and it doesn't hurt at all. Right, but see, now that's not the time to be aggressive because he's doing that. I got him to flashing phase. Okay, that's getting better. This is looking a bit better. I feel like I have a chance. Right, see, this, this is the phase that I have the most trouble handling, because he's just going to keep on charging. And I'm gonna keep on getting hit by it, like that. Hmm, I need to handle that better somehow. Hmm. I learned something. I can use the rope dart to do an invincible dash right through him. Uh, that helped me in the final phase there. Also, I was much closer to finishing that fight than I realized. Impossible. I'm the fastest there's ever been. Tell me how to end this curse or else. Is it that simple in your head, ninja? All of this is bigger than you or me. <laughs> yes, that was a pitiful attempt at a snort. I didn't really commit to it. I am ending this. Your demon king is next. Make no mistake, messenger, none of us are leaving this place alive. If I can't have the scroll, then it shall be destroyed. <gasps> okay. So collapsing place. I'm gonna stay up here. Yeah, I see that I'm supposed to go down there. What if I don't? I don't get a choice anymore. All right. Oh, hey, dragon! Phew, close call. I got you, buddy. Thanks, I guess we're even now. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Manfred. What kind of name is that for a sky serpent? It's not my birth name, but I always wanted to be a butler. Okay. Well, you should dress for the job you want and not the one you have, right? So? So call me Manfred. All right, Manfred. What did you do before the demons mind-controlled you? No time to explain. This is your big moment. It is. I don't have control currently. Okay. So at this point in the game, where am I going and what am I doing? I guess coming back here to put an end to this. No, oh, were you hoping for the Western hero? No prophecies for you, or prepare to die. 
Right, we're in the future, as shown by the dude facing the Demon King here. Okay. You! I see Barmathazel failed me once again. Your reign is over, despots. <laughs> you think this is how it works? Know your place, ninja. Our curse is never-ending and your time is up. As for you, soldier, I can't wait for my minions to wait and make short work of you. That was amazing! Hey, wait a second! Wait a second! Whoa, hold up! I just realized something! There's a role reversal going on here. I'm the Western hero now. You're the Western hero, right? Oh! <laughs> okay! No, I'm... Did I travel so far east that I made it back to my village from the west? Everything's so different. Did the Tower of Time really send me to the future? I guess this means... Hey, I have an important task for you, I think. Pardon? I mean, take the scroll. <laughs> you need to carry it across the world to the top of the highest mountain. Really? I'm 100% down to leave this outpost. Yes, a messenger is needed. A messenger? Godspeed. What? Just take the scroll. <laughs> okay? <laughs> what happened to me? I got phased in here. And so your time as the messenger is up. What do I do now? Well, you could take a few moments to appreciate the reveal that it was all just a loop. <laughs> no way, I still want to be part of the adventure! Oh, we'll get right to that. Yeah, I still have like, uh, 33 more power seals to find. What do you mean? I mean, it's time. Time for what? For you to finally open the cabinet. Oh, really? Yes, go ahead and open it. All right. Please do touch the cabinets. <laughs> I'm going to do... I already told you the cabinet is where it is. Are you going to tell me a story if I do this? Believe me, you are ready for what's in there. Oh, we're doing this. There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, do open it. It's not empty. I already unlocked it. Why don't you put that curiosity to good use and open the cabinet already? If you don't open the cabinet soon, you'll have to sit through my boring story. <laughs> I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to keep doing that. Alright, let me share with you my understanding of Madame Melody's work. After observing so many humans over such a long period of time and reading as much as I could, some trends inevitably come up. He did indeed remove my ability to skip. I'm pressing the button and nothing happens. One thing we all have in common is the need to feel like we have value, power, and abundance in our lives. Now, like many things, there are functional and dysfunctional ways to go about these. Say you are dysfunctional. Your sense of value may come from the approval of others, making you dependent on seeking attention, begging for others to tell you that uh, who you are is adequate. You will feel good when you receive positive feedback, but always be one negative comment away from having your day ruined. Now about power. Dysfunctional people get a sense of power by exercising control over others, sometimes right down to policing the way they talk or who they engage with. They feel good when they have a weak partner or friend to control, but feel depressed and weak themselves when no one is around to feed their ego. I'm not completely sure this is entirely in line with my understanding of things, but I'm not sure it's not. Their sense of abundance will often come from material things, displaying of high status or promiscuity. Even though it feels great while the money and the crowd are there, these lack real depth and the impact of the inevitable downfall would be hard to overstate. For functional people, it is scarcely documented that they are, uh, as they are generally busy living a meaningful life. Functional people get their sense of value from an understanding and acknowledgement of their inner worth. Their sense of power comes from an ability to self-contain and let others be who they are, while protecting themselves when needed. And abundance simply comes from good self-care. Now, all of this makes sense in theory, but the idea is to be able to apply it. For this, you first need to master your emotions. As I understand it, everything you experience is a mix of the big five. Fear, joy, sadness, anger, and shame. I'm thinking about this. This seems very questionable, but I don't immediately have a counter-argument. 
the primary colors of our experiences, if you will. Mix fear with anger, and you get jealousy. Too much sadness in your joy will make you melancholic. The only way to unpack complex emotions is by breaking them down into which of the big five are concerned, and to deal with each of these individually. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to require some further thoughts. Easier said than done, right? Consider haunted house stories for a moment. They're always the same, aren't they? It starts off with optimistic fools moving in. Soon enough, odd things begin to happen, and fear ensues for a while. Eventually, the protagonist has had enough and decides to face the ghost. What? What do you want? They will ask, tired of cowering in fear. As it turns out, ghosts usually know what they want, and it's usually the same thing, for the person who wronged them to face justice and to then be put to rest. That's usually where the killer faces a trial, and the ghost's body is respectfully buried. And just like that, the house becomes a warm haven again. Did you get the metaphors? If you often feel depressed, irritated, or however hindered in your general ability to engage with life, you are just like a haunted house. Your inner child is hurt, and will be increasingly uncomfortable to you, until you turn around and ask, What? What do you want? If asked honestly, you will find that the answers were within you all along, and that following through with that inner child's request is both challenging and life-changing. Only then can you begin the process of discovering your true self, to finally get rid of your chains. These were my final ramblings. Please keep in mind that I am but a shopkeeper. Everything I say should be taken with the biggest grain of salt you can find. Please open the cabinet now. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, um... Didn't see anything in there that I strongly disagree with, but some of it requires further thoughts. Alright, let's touch this cabinet. Are there different costumes? So it's just a closet for blue robes? Wait, am I gonna dress like the shopkeeper now? Why yes, what did it look like? Well, don't just stand there, grab one your size. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm a shopkeeper now. I think I hear someone coming, get behind the counter. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. Oh, hey, okay, so implication, the guy I've been talking about uh, to all along is the western hero I met at the beginning of the game. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's not necessarily true, but I mean, it's strongly implied by this, right? It doesn't look like a shop. Hey, I said the same... I mean, d do I look like a shopkeeper? <laughs> what? Anyway, here's a power-up that will let you charge your beam. Oh, there's upgrades too? Sweet. At least Ninja Man knows what to do here. He's back. So thanks for the beam charger upgrade. You bet. You know, the way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why Ray Troid invented it decades ago. Oh, I get it. Great. <laughs> you gave him the charge beam. Who's Ray Troid? Just the follow-up to an earlier joke. I don't get it. Some will. <laughs> I do. I'm not really laughing much, though, but I get it. Okay, we gonna sit through every conversation I had with him? No. Hey, is everything alright? It's kinda boring, but I guess I'm okay. No, I mean, it's been a while since your messenger visited. No, oh, I don't know. I didn't enter the shop so often myself. Well, yeah, I did. I took every opportunity. You're in the Tower of Time, remember? So? So it should automatically take you forward in time to the next important moment. Hmm. So intervals between the times he saw me were very, very short. Which is? Either your messenger enters the shop or dies. Oh? Did your messenger die? How would I know that? By using the scrying orb! If Corbel isn't sent within 10 seconds, your messenger dies for good. And when were you planning on mentioning that? I mean, you knew a lot about uh, what to do as a shopkeeper already. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! We need to fix this. Oh, is it we now? Come on, now is not the time to argue. We have to look at this holistically. Look at this holistically? What does that even mean? It means I'm as lost as you are, but I still want you to think I'm the smartest one here. 
I'll go fetch the scroll, hold on. Did we close the time loop? Are you gonna head it off to me back in the past again? Be right back, I need to talk to the others. Okay, I'm enjoying this. This is a good twist. This is the one I was waiting for. I think I know what it's gonna do to the structure of the game. It's already been hinted at. Okay, we have reached an agreement. You're the one that needs to finish this. Really? Yes, really. You weren't really fit to be a shopkeeper anyway. Was I fit to be a messenger in your opinion? <laughs> I mean, I saw what you thought of me. I'll leave the scroll here with your clothes. Come join us after you've changed. All right. Happening on its own. Okay, mm so no controls other than that one, not even menu. Okay, and I'm me again. <laughs> Do I have the option of leaving? 34 power seals. I don't. Okay, well this would be a nice place to stop, but I want to, like... I feel like I shouldn't. Now I feel like I should. Okay, so whatever's going on here... Right, this is true, phase two. Oh yeah, 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 all right. Phobkins. Necro, there we go. Oh. There for repairing the bridge, huh? Well, thanks for spelling that out. Hmm, I wonder if I never get my... Well, no, no, that's not an ability. I wonder if I can still purchase... Does he go back to his role as shopkeeper and I can purchase the, uh... Oh, hey, complete room. The last upgrade I didn't get, plus the Corbel, um... Uh... Cost reduction thing? Okay, yeah, so that's head saving. All right, so, phase two of the game. Uh, I'm no longer the messenger. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I am, kind of. I'm taking over for the new one. Neat! All right, cool. Uh, I'll see you next time to uh, explore the new, uh, uh, you know, stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm going to stop talking because I'm not very good at it, apparently.